hello, 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 and hello, yeah, very good. Hello, everybody, hello, everybody. The Renting Essential Time, Saturday evening. How are you all doing today? I believe you're doing great. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't look great to you, just trust me and trust God. Everything is going to be great. Just believe. Only believe. So it's another beautiful Saturday evening and it's another time for parenting essential. Today I have to change the time slightly to 30 minutes later because of other busy schedules. All right, thank you everybody. Today is going to be hopefully brief but very powerful topic today. We've been talking about importance of stop and check, stop and check. And I think this topic today is a big stop and check because we can't be talking and we are not in line if you are intentional we really need to know that we are intentional so i hope it's going to be brief because i don't want this topic to go for two weeks however if you have any contribution you have any concern any question just go ahead and drop it and let's all speak our mind as i'll be speaking about visionary the power of vision in parenting visionary the power of vision in parenting so i'll be talking a lot about vision today the good thing about this topic is it's not about parenting only whatever we want to say today is applicable to every aspect of our life every aspect of our lives we can take this knowledge and use it there in our career in our, any aspect of our life we can use it when we talk about vision is a big word and i believe every aspect of our life we should our vision and we should carry this vision jealously all right if you are there you can hear me clearly you can see me just say hello to Hoye and let me know you are there Facebook I can see a few people just say hi let me know you're there and I want to be sure you can hear me clearly before I go on I'm talking about the power of vision today and this you can apply it to every other aspect of your life my brother Nate, I, Nathan, I cite you there, bro. God bless you. Thank you for joining. I hope you can hear me clearly. All right. The power of vision in parenting. Just like I always say that only the vision guide. Only the vision guide. Thank you, bro. Only the vision guide. So what is vision? Oh, yeah, it's always shouting vision, vision, vision. What is vision? If you have your dictionary, you can just type what is vision. You can just Google what is vision. What is vision? What is vision? So I'm talking about what is vision, what is vision in parenting, and how it's applicable to parenting. And these things, you can use them in every other aspect of your life. A state of being able to see. That's vision. That you are able to see. Ability to see. A state of being able to see. Vision. The ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. I take that again. The ability to think about. You are thinking about it. You are planning the uh, future with imagination. Oh, you know, I, I believe when I get married, I'm going to have three kids. And, uh, you know, I want these children to be amazing. That is vision. I want my children to be this. I want my children to be that. You imagine. That is also vision. To think about with imagination or with wisdom. That is vision. And when we talk about parenting, we cannot overemphasize the word vision we cannot overemphasize the word vision vision is powerful in every aspect of our life vision is very important if we cannot see it it is almost impossible to achieve it like my regular saying if you cannot see you cannot achieve or if it's like a mirage you don't even know what you're seeing the picture is not clear it is almost impossible to hold it to be to, okay, you are, if you don't believe, just like we believe the scripture, right? What the Bible says about faith. 
So we have to envision, we have to vision, we have to have vision in our parenting, in our career, in our future, in our marital life, vision. You're a single guy, a single lady. What is going to help you? What are the preparation you need to do? Is having a vision. What sort of vision do you have? What sort of wife do you want to marry? What sort of lady, what sort of guy, what sort of home do you want to create? A lot of things are happening in parenting today. A lot of errors in parenting, raising children. But the foundation are always been left out. Larger percent of the issue in parenting is from the foundation. And I think there is need to talk about it. And that is why I bring up about this topic today. Vision. It's a big word. You can't just be saying, I want to marry this. And you are just somewhere. You're, you are not even in the right... No. I won't, I'm not saying you're going to place yourself in the right place, but there are things to do to pursue your vision, your career, what you want to be in future. You are saying, I want to be a lawyer. Then you went to engineering school. How is that vision going? Go, how is that imagination or we, we, uh, picture going to come to manifestation? That is the aspect of guiding it jealously. That's our aspect. So that comes to parenting when we have the vision of the kind of children we want to raise. Guiding it jealously. It's what nobody can also do for us. That is vision. So who is a person of vision? A person of vision. I believe this video is going to bless as many people that will be watching it later. But I can see a lot of people of vision joining me live today on Instagram. On Facebook you know sometimes it's we that we already intentional we are still listening to these things I'm not saying we don't need them yes we do but there are people that really need to hear this who is a person of vision who is the person of vision somebody who thinks about the somebody who thinks about the future or ad, uh, advancement in a creative and imaginative way a person of vision, thinking about the future, you think about it. You don't just wake up and say, uh, we take one day at the time, Kaliwali, it doesn't matter. Que sera, sera, what will be, will be. No. Sometimes those statements are just from lazy people. What will be, will be. If I sleep in my house, if I'm still going to be rich, I'll be rich. If I sleep in my house, I'm still going to marry, I'll be married. But you're always, you know, like God is going to bring the wife to your house. You are never out of there. You are not doing anything. You are not doing preparation. You are not searching for job. If God said it, I'll believe it. It's good to believe the word of God. This is not a sermon. And I said to myself when I was preparing this, oh yeah, be careful because this might turn to a sermon. I don't want this to turn to a sermon at all. A person of vision. Is oh yeah a person of vision? Are you a person of vision? These are the things that will determine your success in intentional parenting and in positive parenting. We see so many errors and sometimes I get tired of these things. I see so many posting on uh, social media and I say, oh my God. A lot of problems are trying to, you know, solving a solution, looking for a solution to some problems and challenges in children. Meanwhile, the main problem is never touched, the foundation. There is no way when we don't talk about this vision, these things, the foundation will be faulty. Will be faulty. It is very important for one who wants to be an intentional parent, a positive parenting, uh, a positive parent, to be a vision carrier person, a vision carrier mom, a vision carrier dad. And most of the time, the daddies, the men, they believe, you know, it doesn't, it's not my business. My own vision is just to provide. My wife will do the rest. It doesn't work like that. That vision is not complete yet. It's still shallow. It's for all. Parenting is for all. What of those who lost their parent at, uh, their mom at early stage? Maybe immediately after birth. And I've seen daddies raising their children amazing, amazing ways. So it's not about the men or the women. If both are married or they are together or even if they are not married, parenting is for both. It's for everybody involved. As long as you are alive, you have a child, you have to take responsibility for your child. It's not one, it should not be one-sided. 
So a person of vision, as I said before, I said, it's someone who thinks about the future or advancement in a creative and imaginative way. It, sometimes, you know, I remember when I was much younger, I just see it, I don't know, I'll just think about, I'll think about some things. And when those things are happening now, being an adult, I was like, I've seen these things before. It was their just vision. They were vision, imagination. So a person of vision must be, be, your dream and vision will be ahead of you to where you're going to. So they are your driving too. They will be ahead of you. They will be ahead of you. You're already there in your destination. Even though physically you have not seen what you want to achieve. But you are sure and you're working, not just thinking about it. This is where a lot of people get it wrong. But working towards the achievement of what you have seen and imagined. That is a person of vision. A person who is ahead of time, who has a powerful plan for change in the future, ahead of time, in 20, in 20, what do I want? Not just by mouth. You are ahead of time, you imagine it and walking towards it. You have a powerful plan to change or for change in the future. That is visionary. That is the power of vision. Are you ahead of time? Are you, now maybe you're single or you have a child or a baby. What, what, do you, what can you envision? What are you, what's your vision about it? Or you're just taking one step at a time. You don't have any idea of raising children or you are planning to get married. You don't know anything about how to help children out. Such a person is not a person of vision. Those are errors and disasters going somewhere to happen. You are planning on getting married. But you have no idea of what it takes to be a good wife, what it takes to be a good husband. Error factoria. Something about to happen that we keep blaming when that time comes. No vision. No vision. It is very important for any reasonable human being to be a person of vision. It is very important. What is the vision in life? What is a vision in life? It's a, way of an, uh, it's a way to answer your own why. Vision in life. Why? Why do I need this? Why do I need to achieve this? Why do I need to pursue this? That's your vision in life. You want to answer your own why. Sitting down and thinking about it. Giving yourself answers. That is going to give you reasons for your action. Reasons for your action. Let me go fast because the, my main point is still far. But I believe if you understand this foundation, we'll be able to attach it when I get to how we're going to how it's related to parenting. It gives you the reason for your actions, choices, hope, and desires. Why is vision important in life? Why is vision important in life? Can somebody help me out? Why do you think vision is important in life? To simplify this, why do we need our eyes? For those, are, it's not everybody that can see. Fine. For those of us that can see, why do we need eyes? Why is vision important in our lives or in life? Why do, we, why, do we need, why, do we need, why do we have to be a vision carrier person? Why do we always talk about visionary, visionary power of vision, power of vision? Why? Thank you, Brother Nate. Brother Nathan, because it guides you. That's a good one. Vision guides us. Once we have the vision, it's like the lead, it's taking, we are, it's, that, that, the vision is taking the lead, we are just following. It guides us. A vision puts substance behind goal. Substance. If you have a goal, but there is no substance, it's, all, it's, it's going to be fruitless. It will be fruitless. So vision puts substance behind our goals. 
if you are just creating goals without a larger destination, <laughs> you have a lot of goals. This is my goal, this is my goal, this is my goal, but there is no destination in mind. It is fruitless labor. It's going to turn out to be a fruitless labor. Think of your vision like your destination. It must match. This is where I want to be. This is how I'm thinking about it. Your vision is actually your destination. Your vision is your destination. Not just thinking it's about like the destination. I believe your vision is your destination. Now, it's coming to parenting now. We're going to break it down. When is the right time to have the vision in parenting? Where do you think is the right time? What age should a lady have uh, vision in parenting? What age should a guy have vision in parenting? What? When is the right time? Age or time? When? When is the right time to have vision in parenting? I know it might be a tough question for us. You know, once you are grown or that, an adult should have vision in parenting. But I will let you know that vision in parenting doesn't just start when you are a teenager or an adult. Vision, having vision in, about parenting starts as early as infanthood. As an LES teacher, I've worked with LES in the past. You know, I've seen so many things during role play. Even you, you remember this when you were a child. Okay, let's bring it back to those days. Those that were born in 70s, 80s, and 90s. You remember when you play in summer, when you're on holiday and everybody in your compound is available? So you ask daddy, you ask the mommy. And children, we act it perfectly. When you're doing role play, maybe in a play area or in a nursery setting or a kindergarten setting, you see children, especially girls, having a doll behaving like a mother, right? Feeding the doll bottle of milk and everything. Where do you think all this idea is coming from? I'm the daddy. My baby, you see a toddler, two years, two and a half, three years, or a child, four years, carrying a doll and say, this is my baby, this is my baby. Where do you think they are getting this idea from? That is what they have seen over the time. Maybe from their parent or environment. That is what they have seen over the time. Parenting does not require age, but mindset and how capable you can handle it. My opinion. Very good. It's not about age. It's not about uh, how tall or how, or how short. But the, part that is imp the mindset, we cannot overemphasize that. Mindset is part of it. Your mindset must be right, must be ready for parenting, and you must be capable. And when we talk about cap capability, capability, it's not just about your age or everything. Finances is there, emotion, physical readiness. You know, you have to be ready. When you're capable, it's not because you just have money. Money is good, it's part of it, but not just the money. You have to be capable in every aspect. So my point in this is parenting, having the vision, starts from as young as infanthood. And this happened because what the children have seen, they've seen it over the time. Maybe they've seen a nursing mother, maybe their mother is having another baby, maybe around them, environment. And that is why you can see them carrying out a role play effectively, acting like a daddy or a mommy. Or acting like a baby to some another friend of theirs. These things are very important. So this brings me to what you see, the power of what you see, environmental factor. These are the things that is going to affect your vision. So I said, what what factor determine determines your vision? What factor? With what I've said, we can say that children who are acting like a mom or dad, due to what they have seen, even if they've seen a mother spanking a child or shouting, you will see them acting it out on a doll. Go back there or something. So what is the factor that is affecting that? What you see, environmental factor, can affect your vision in parenting. 
environment, parents, friends, family, relatives. These are factors that can affect vision in parenting. The first sibling is going to see how, maybe there's a big gap, you see how your mom raised the others. Friends, you go to friends' house, they get to see these things. The way they raise their children rightly, the manners, the way they say thank you. I, this is going to make me remember when I was seven. I went to one of my, the person I was serving with, who I took as a mother like that, uh, at that time, and we had lunch together with the children. And I saw the children dropping their plates, went straight to the kitchen, they dropped their plates, and they came back straight to their mom, knelt and said, thank you for the food, mommy. I was shocked. That was the first time I was seeing such a thing. I never saw that before. I was, wow, I kept that. It was so, it was, it was like something like, I felt so good. I never saw that before. I said, what? I never said thank you to my mom before for giving me food. I never even think of, it's very important. I said, this is a good lesson. I will teach my own children when I get married. That was like 14 years ago. I said, oh my God, I never saw it before. One by one, they went to their mom and they knelt that, thank you for giving me food. Thank you for giving me food. That affected me positively. I said, wow, this is a nice parenting style. Not because it's not your duty, because one of our duties is to provide for our children. They said thank you or they're not saying thank you. It's our job and we have to do it. But in a way, we are teaching the children to be, to be appreciative. To see things in something little. It's going to affect every other aspect of their lives. If they're outside, they are receiving a gift. They are, it will affect them even in their workplace. Their manners to their bosses. These are the things. What you see is going to affect the vision. And that's why I said what I'm talking to about today is not going to be applicable to parenting only. We can use it in every aspect of our lives. Sometimes when they see their parents spanking someone, so the kids think it's right and they actually do what they see. Their parents do. Yes, that's true. And I think I've spoken about parent correcting children that maybe a child is beating up somebody and you as a parent want to correct that child you want your child to stop eating others and what you did to correct is stop eating stop beating your friends stop beating your friends you are correcting an error with an error you are correcting the child with exact mistake that mistake you want to correct is exactly what you're doing even those who spank that would be a very wrong time to spank a child if you want to correct a child from spanking and you are spanking the child to say don't spank it's error big error big error back to my point today these are important factors so when we see some homes struggling today when we see some some couples struggling in their parenting today most of them, they were not properly raised. Most of them, they didn't see the right way. There was no positive influence on them. So when we blame some children, the way they behave, it's not actually their fault. They were victim. But the, the, the sad news is, that child, another person is going to be a victim to that child. It's like networking. A child who has wrong vision in parenting, we grow up to raise a child with wrong vision with par in parenting. This is the most sensitive part. And that is why we come to say, make sure your package is okay. Let me make sure my package is okay. The world is a big place, yet it's a small place. Who knows tomorrow? Ensure your package is okay. When I'm doing my part to ensure my growing glory of everything right in their package, ensure your package is sound also because your child in the future if jesus tarries will be somebody's wife or husband what are you putting inside that child you see some men they are very caring today like very caring not only to their family not only to their friends but the way they've been brought up there are ways to teach our children these skills to show concern there are ways to show them are you okay mommy 
if you are not okay, you're grown up or you're from a child that can converse, that can communicate very well from four or five, there should be enough, sensitive enough to ask, mommy, are you okay? That is everything fine. If you're quiet, if you're doing your job, you ask them, I'm okay, but you're quiet today. But your face is this today. Then you can pat yourself at the back and tell yourself, well done. You are raising an amazing child, a sensitive one, who is going to be a caring father or a caring mother. These things count. But many a time, just say it's levity, levity. It doesn't matter. They are children. Oh, yeah, you're just too extreme. Pastor Yinka, I cite you there, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for joining me. I appreciate you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, sir. These things are very important. How can you change the wrong perspective, your wrong perspective or make believe? Oh yeah, you're now saying a child that was raised and doesn't see the, without vision, clear vision in parenting, and that child has become an adult and raising a child. Do you now say it's not possible for that person to have a clear vision? No, that's not what I'm saying. But how can you change those wrong perspectives we have gotten over the time or made believe? How? There are ways to go about it. But how can we change them? I need help here. Somebody say something. How can we change these perspectives? I want to hear your opinion on this. I want you to type something. How can we change? You know, that when we hear something over and again, even if it's wrong, do you know you're going to believe it? When some people that are liars, call liars, if they go for lie detective tests, sometimes, do you know they can pass? Because if their heart is adding, they believe it's right. That's what they believe. They're not thinking it's a lie. Even their brain is not thinking it's a lie. It's true and it's true. So how do we change this kind of situation? This is what you have seen over the time. You've seen from families, you've seen from friends, from your parents. It's already a made-believe. How can we change this? Is it possible? Mrs. Quicker said something last week. said, sometimes we have to learn and unlearn. In changing these things, you have to unlearn. It's not time to learn. But how can you even decide, I want to unlearn? You have to first know what is right. You have to first know and accept that I want to be better. I want to be better than my parents. It's not by mouth. You have to admit and see Maybe from the books you have read, from the, you have to, like, maybe from other people that you now see, and you, this is different from what I'm doing, what I've seen. And you feel like, hmm, this is better. You have, if you, the person is not getting to this point, it will be almost impossible to change. After getting to this point, the next thing is to unlearn, delete all these things that you put in your head. My mommy said you have to eat them hard. My mommy said, if a child is not doing this, just do this. Just... You don't give the child food. When you, don't, you don't punish a child with hunger. Never. But some parents have taught you over the time, if your child is not listening, skip lunch. Skip dinner. These are errors. Errors. No matter how stubborn your child, or no matter how bad what your child has done, never use this as a punishment. And this is a time to unlearn. Mrs. Cook, I said, let them see the result of international par uh, intentional parenting. Seeing the results encourages them to change. Yes. If they see the result, it might encourage them to change. And sometimes, you know, when we see, it means you're moving around somebody who is intentional by chance. <laughs> that is good. And uh, you are not, you are still soft-hearted. I've seen people that will say, no, nobody can change me. My mother raised me like this, and this is what I'm going to do. Ah, in this generation of ours. <laughs> oh, my God. And that is why we have to guide our own children. We can't help people. We can't stop people for the way. We, they have the right to their opinion. We all have the right to our emotion, the way we think. And we are not ready to change anybody. However, we can guide our own growing glory. We can equip them to know that this is what is happening around the world. That does not mean it's right. Brother Nathan says so sometimes it depends on how, it depends on the upbringings. So to make the person change is that you have to give the person val valuable reasons. 
for him or her to see what they've been doing in it. What they've been doing is not right. You have to give the person valuable reasons. So let's talk about maybe you, the uh, two people are married now, and one is now saying, uh, this is not... Uh, this is not right. You're telling maybe the father is telling the wife, this is not right. What how you're raising your children? And the idea the wife is having in her head is different. Do you think it's going to be a, an easy conversation after marriage? I've made a video about this before. The importance of preparation. You don't just say, well, I love you. Love is not enough. Love is good, but it's not enough. Is your vision together? Are you in this together? I think that's what they call courtship, right? You caught. What are, what are you talking about in courtship? <laughs> it's not about the guy is cute. It's not about the lady is beautiful. You have to hear ideas. You have to see that you're meeting up at the point. Because most of the time, if you wait until you're married and discuss these things, it brings about first issue in marriage. You are correcting a child and daddy is saying, no, don't do that. That's not nice. You are correcting a child and mommy said, no, that's not the way. These are the main thing that breaks home. If you don't have any, the same vision on parenting. And that is why even after you have discussed and you're married, it is very important when you are expecting to discuss on how you want to raise your children, what sort of, uh, you, what sort of method you want to use to raise them. Are you going to be instilling discipline or is punishment every time? There are needs to cite situ uh, the examples and talk about it. If this thing happened, how do we handle this situation? So that you don't conflict every time. Some couple, they really love themselves to, so much, but when it comes to parenting, that's when they have issue. And the home will never remain the same again. So it's very important to talk about this. I heard. No, daddy, don't treat my child. That's when you hear, don't touch my child. Don't do my child like that. Don't say that, it's my child. I'm the father. No, I'm the mother. Visionless. What do you see as a couple? What are your dreams? What is your imagination in those kits that you're waiting on? What? It is very important to note it, to know it, and to speak about it, and to prepare together towards it. And we have stages in parenting. Now my own children are still young. Already I'm thinking about when they become a teenager or when they are much older now. How do we handle this kind of situation? There are questions now that they are asking, especially my girl, for the last two weeks, she's asking me a particular question. I will not share because it's online. I don't know I'm going to answer it, but I need to answer it. And I'm asking Holy Spirit, how do I address this? So we picture, we envision, because they are growing, stages will be changing. We need to prepare psychologically. That is why our mental health is very important when we talk about parenting. Vision is powerful. Vision is powerful. Ready to learn from the source. A reliable source. Maybe you have to ready to reset, you know. Now, I'm, I'm still on the point of how can we change our wrong perspective or made believe? How can we change it? Somebody with wrong perspective, maybe is close to you, or you yourself, you're just feeling like this thing is not right. How can you change it? You're all your made believe. You have to ready. You have to be ready to know that my brain needs to be formatted. I need to, I need to reset. The word reset, we use it so much in our, in our house. When I tell my children, now you guys need to reset, they know what that means. You need reset. And sometimes we all need reset. We need to shut down and restart. Make sure the things are already balanced. And that is the only way we can correct, we can uh, change the wrong perspective and the made believe. Unlearning, deleting them psychologically and putting the right thing inside. It is intentional. It is not what anybody can help you do. You have to be purposeful and be intentional, I want to do it. Because at that stage, it's not going to be easy. Because that's what you have seen, that's what you have believed over the time. It takes strong intentionality for you to be able to delete and put those things that are right inside. But it's possible. It is very, very, very possible. It is very possible. 
The moment we feel we don't want to listen, we don't want to listen to anybody that is saying this, you are just upset. If you are here and you are just upset about what Oye is saying, then you should know that you are part of the people that need reset. Sometimes, you know, where we, we don't actually know these things, but our emotion can guide us to know the category we fall into. If you are just seeing something or somebody is saying something about parenting and it's positive, but because you are not doing it, you are just going to be upset. It shows there are errors that you need to delete and correct. You can't just control your anger. You can't explain. You're just upset. What she's saying. It might not be me. It can be anybody explaining something about parenting. And you're already a parent. And you, it's not pleasant to your ear. It's time for you to stop and check and delete those things. There is something that you're doing wrong. That is why you are just upset. And you can't explain it. There is need for us to have clear vision about our children. I don't know if you believe God or you believe the devil, but let me tell you the truth. The devil is out hunting for children of this generation. It is up to us personally as parents to be guided. Internet is full of so many things. Society is not helping. Even so, some so-called house of God, is, they are not helping. So it's up to you. It's your luggage now. To your tent, everybody. The devil is hunting. Hunting for children. It's up to me to say my children will not be packed. They will not be prey. It's up to you to take this decision. No, not on my watch. Not my children, not my seed. My child, my son will grow up to be a very amazing husband. It starts from the way I'm treating him, raising him to be responsible now, teaching him how to care and, and have concern for people and for the sister and for the entire family. Start from now. It's not a magic. Don't be that parent or that girl, mother now that you're waiting. Just call me if your wife is not. Do you know some parent that is telling us at this age? If your husband is not, they're even telling you on the wedding day. I'm yell. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's up to you. But they're already creating an atmosphere for you that trouble is going to happen. No, just call me. Ah, there won't be trouble in my own home. So a lot of people are just waiting. And because they've heard that over the time, any small thing, even on the cup of water, they are looking for who to call. And because that's what they have seen over the time. I'm not say, don't get this twisted. I think I should just leave it. But ensure you do your part to raise your children, have the vision of the kind of children you want to raise and how it's going to affect their future, their career. The way we raise them is going to determine their career, how they're going to apply everything they've learned, the way they behave, the way they, the way they perceive things. The way they show concerns is going to help them in future. Questions are allowed. Please drop your question, please. Question. Yes, go ahead, Brother Nathan. You can ask a question. That's the time. Okay. Go ahead. I'm waiting for your question because I'm going to be rounding up. I don't want to stay long on this topic. You guide yourself, guide your children. Open your eyes wide. It's not time to sleep, mommies and daddies. Open your eyes very wide. Let the vision be clear. Anytime you're not sure of what next again, pause. Check your vision. If it's blurry, make sure you clean it. Let it be clear. This is what I want to see. This is where I'm going. Let's walk towards it. Anytime you feel I can't see the vision, this, is, this doesn't look like where I'm going. Stop. Check it. If the oil is dry, please refill the oil. If the water is dry, it's time to moisturize, it's time to put water. Make sure that your vision is always clear, your eyes wide open on your parenting. I'm talking so much in parables today, but I believe people are with wisdom and listening. And we are all full of wisdom. Don't relax. Our job continues as much as possible. 
let the vision guide, let the vision clear. Vision is a word that we cannot overemphasize. Renata, I'm waiting for you. I want to attend to your question, then we call it a day. Okay, let me quickly, while I wait for the question, let me say this and round up. What do we do while waiting? What are the things to do while waiting? Maybe you're married, you're waiting to get a child. Maybe you're single, you're waiting to get your right spouse. What are the things to do at this point? Okay, I'll go, I'll read out your question now. What are the things to do at this point? Prepare. Getting clear vision and working towards your vision. You're waiting, you want to be a mother, you cry every day. Why not stop the tears now? And do the needful. Know that you have full knowledge on how you're going to raise those growing glory when they come to you. Don't just run around. You're worried, oh, I want to be pregnant, I want to be pregnant. But you, yet you have no idea on how to raise a successful child. Why are you waiting? Be prepared. Why are you waiting to get married? Be prepared. Even the marriage you're waiting for, what are you doing? Preparation. Not just dressing, looking good. Looking good is good, but it's not good enough. <clears throat> you are a lady, you're looking for six-pack guy. See, you have go, they, 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 I made a video on this about five years ago, I remember. Or seven, yeah, six years ago, exactly six years ago. Talking about you want a, uh, uh, a, a man with six packs, six abs, six cars, everything. But you, you, have, you are not equipping yourself at all. Even when they talk to you, there is no reasonable point you can give. But you are just laying. Nothing upstairs. It doesn't work like that. Even that brother with six packs, six cars, have vision and have something they want to see. I was talking about godly sisters and godly brothers in that video. Preparation is key. All you do is to, I'm not saying TikTok is not good, I'm also on TikTok. All you do is to just go on TikTok and preparation, nothing upstairs, nothing in the book, nothing to show for it. But you're saying, no, no, no guy should come close to me if you don't have it, you're not a millionaire. Who are you? Zero Factoria. I'm not here to embarrass anybody today. But there is power in preparation. Because these are the errors. So there is time for us, we have to say the truth. These are the errors that we are seeing in marriages. And these are the errors we are seeing in parenting. And children are suffering. And they are not just going to suffer alone only. But they are also going to do the same mistake. And we don't want it anymore. We don't want it anymore. Hence, we are talking about this. That's why we are talking about this. It needs to stop. <laughs> ah, one minute. All right, let me read your question, Brother Nathan. Said, I saw a video that caught my attention on social media of a father who was in a relationship with a lady who has two kids, but the man only cares about his own kids. Is that a good parenting? I hope I get you. The man is in a relationship with a, a lady who already has two children. That means the man also has some children before. If I'm clear, please let me say yes. If I'm, if I'm getting your question, please say yes. So, but the man is only concerned about his own children, not the children of the lady. Is that what you mean? Did I get your question, Brother Nathan? Just say yes if I do. All right. Is that good enough? See, these things, things we see on social media are things that we cannot really just conclude on. However, Somebody that has two children, they both have children before, it's not a problem. But the moment they are coming together to marry, those children are supposed to be their children. But this is where the vision statement comes in that we're talking about. People without vision, it will be like that. My children, your children. They just meet somehow, somewhere they marry. So, but your children, my children. But when we talk about those with understanding, same belief, the belief, I don't want to go into sounding like I'm preaching. It's supposed to be, they are coming together with vision. I have children, you have children, these are going to be our children now. But that's, those are people with vision. Same vision. Because that vision is what is going to guide them. That is when the man will see that these are my children. But we don't know the kind of relationship we have. They have. So we can't really conclude. Maybe they are just dating. Maybe they just see themselves as usual and just, you know, 
things happen. So we can't really say about the video because you might not say, it might not even be husband and wife, it might just be relationship of friends with benefits. It can be so many things. So some questions until you understand the kind of relationship before you can say, if they are just friends with benefits, they don't know anything about God, they don't care about what they're doing. It's not our business because we can't judge them, it's their business. But if they are intentional, they are married with their other children, they're supposed to be together and raise them together as one family. Did that answer your question, Brother Nita? Yes, did that answer your question? Battery is low. All right, 45 minutes, voila. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. Please don't let us overemphasize the word vision, the power of vision, visionaring in parenting. It is very important, only the vision guide we say it every time. We are going to continue to say it. Without the vision, it is almost impossible to go far in parenting. Without the vision, it is always almost impossible to go far in our marital life. Without the vision, it is almost impossible to go far in our career. If you just say, uh, sera, sera, what will be we be? One day at a time, I wake up, I, if I see this job, I do. I see another job, I do. You don't have a desire. You don't have a vision of one day I want to be a boss and this is what I want to do. You just continue like that. I see any guy I just marry. There is no vision and anything. There will be trouble in that marriage. But you can fix it in case you are in that kind of relationship. You can fix it. It can be fixed. In case your parenting styles is questionable you can fix it it's just a time to unlearn to reset our brain everything is possible and if you're a lady in waiting you're a guy in waiting to be married and you have the vision of being a very uh, to, to have a positive parenting style it's now now is the time to start read books watch videos learn from people Move close to people that you are sure they are doing positive parenting and learn from them. It is not a time where, okay, you are waiting for that brother. All you can do is to put, makeup is not bad, but you can use all your money to buy makeup. You know the latest makeup in town. But you can't use your money to even do a course on parenting. To do a course on something that will add to your career. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Preparation is key. In parenting, vision is very important. And thank you everybody for joining me today. Lady Ruthie Money, you just joined. I saw you there on Instagram. Thank you for joining. Anyway, you can catch up with the video later. Nos Larry, thank you for joining me again on Instagram. Oluwa Fisayo Abbas, thank you for joining me. Modupe Ola, thank you for joining me, sister. Everybody, thank you. Ja. Bro, thank you for joining me. God bless you. I appreciate you. Mrs. Quaker, Brother Nathan, Olayinka, Ofisai, Fidikwe, Ah, Brian. Thank you, bro, for joining me. Ah, Inka. Sorry. Ah, Fidikwe, Eti. Inka, thank you for joining me. God bless you. Long time. All right, Mrs. Quaker, thank you for joining me. Mrs. Gloria, Mrs. Pascal, thank you for joining me. And I believe you've been able to learn something today, Brother Paris. Ngaga, thank you for joining. I appreciate your time. And this is a stop and check topic for us today. The importance of vision. Why do we have to have vision? When is the right time to have vision in parenting? And I make mention of when you see toddlers having a role play. When you are there acting mom, even when you were young, maybe you acted like a mom or dad. You were acting. That is when the vision starts. And what, what are the factors that determine the vision? Vision, environment from parent, friends. What we see is going to affect us. Many marriages that are breaking today, many parenting styles that are destroying, many children that are not being raised properly today is because of the factors that affected their vision. But you can change it. It's a power of determination. Believe that you can achieve it. Believe that you are not going to go the same way your parents went. You, and you want to be, when we say we want to be better version, you know, sometimes like, People are not getting this. Better version is not just by mouth. It's a strong determination. I want to be better version of my mom. And that's the prayer that I want my child to be better version of me. So, but it takes determination. You don't just hold. My mommy said, no, as an adult. What do you see? What's your vision? Don't forget that the vision you cannot see, you cannot achieve. 
only the vision guide. As we go today, don't forget that parenting is intentional. Your intentionality is part of what is going to guide you through this journey. It's, it's personal. Intentionality is key. And it must be vision carrying. You, it's full of vision. Carry this vision jealously. Part of you carrying your vision jealously in parenting is not sacrificing your children on the altar. Oh, I don't want to offend my children. I was reading something on Facebook yesterday. Uh, somebody was saying, don't kiss babies. I see these things every time. When I go to people's house and they have newborn, people know me even since many years ago, over a decade, two decades. I don't like to just carry baby. They say, oh, yeah, carry. No, because, because I don't love the baby. If everybody is coming and carrying this baby, it doesn't make sense. The immune system of the baby is still low. But parents these days, they will tell you, I don't want that because she has the baby. Now let them say it's wisdom. If you are still the person that is saying, I don't want my child, they will say now that because she has baby. Ah, let them say, oh, you are a selfish parent if you are still saying that. Everybody is there carrying your newborn, kissing your newborn. Ah, error factoria. The immune system is still very low. And somebody was putting under the comment, people will complain. They will say, now you are proud because you have baby. Ah, because people will complain. You now want to sacrifice your child on the altar of people. It is not right. People that will not understand you, Get your point. That means they are not your friend. Let them go. This is the problem we have in our generation. These are the problem we are seeing in marriages. People, this is it. Take your own decision. What do you want for your life? Sincerely, I feel like preaching. Let me go. All right, thank you everybody for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Your time is precious and I'm not taking your coming to join me today for granted. If you are just seeing my face for the very first time today, my name is Oye Layo. Oye for short and ham your parenting coach all right i'll be back again next week with another wonderful topic i want to say thank you once again for joining me as we go we cannot overemphasize the word the vision don't forget that only the vision guide see you next week bye for now stay blessed